Sophia and Fiona, and we are checking out a brand new game called Dwaros. Not available yet, but it's going to be out on Steam here in a couple days. We have not played it yet, so this is going to be our first experience. We are at the creation screen here. Ladies, what would we like our town to be named? Um... Go ahead, Fee. Larrick. Larrick. Hmm. Okay, Sophia, what would you like the, the uh, city to be named? The village. So, village? Or the name of our city, so mm. it'll be like Larrick Village or Larrick City. What would you like it to be called, the second part? Larrick. Town. House, whatever you want it to be. Larrick. Hmm. I'm going to be the dwarf, obviously. The logic bomb. Dad, I'm going to be the girl. Gonna I want to be the girl. Mm -hmm. I want to be the girl. Yep. Well, we'll just name her Soina. Both your names. Alright? She's a combination of both of you. Okay. And then this, who we want this one to be? Mom? Uh, no, Lincoln. Lincoln. Dad, for now I'll just let Sophia and I'll just play him because I don't really care if I play a boy. Okay, so you want to be this one? Mm -hmm, I'm going to be Lincoln. Okay. We, <laughs> we can say it's a girl, it's fine. Okay, it's going to be called Fiona. Alright, did you pick your city name, Soph? Uh, let's do... Oh, it's a hard voice. Ass. Village ass. That's not a very good word. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You mean ask? Like you ask a question? I don't know it. <laughs> Larrick. That Larrick. Larrick. Let's be Larrick, uh... Sophia! Larrick Town. Okay. Larrick Sophia? You want... Sophia's the name of our, like, town? Larrick George. No, no, no. So, like, this is, you know how we're in, like, a, a city. I know. I don't know what to pick. Larrick. So, you, you would pick, like, city, town, I village. Well, yeah, I know a good name for the village. Town. Dad, I, town. Know, okay. Dad I, know, I know a gooder name than the town. All right, let's read the story here, we ready? We just call it Story Town. It's okay. We're good. We got it. We're Larrick Town. I'm Logic Bomb. We got Sophia. We got Fiona. Okay, a halfling who rose in the mission... Who, oh, I'm sorry, whose role in the mission is to assist the Wood Elves in exploring the new land and finding hidden treasures to help finance the rebuilding of the civilization. Okay, here's Fiona. She's the first one, apparently. Uh -huh. Fiona grew up in a peaceful farming village where she longed to see the world and travel. At the age of 15, she ventured to the smoky industrial city, Racket, where the adventurous troublemaker began thieving for a living. That was a girl. To the rich... She was known as the mysterious thief Softfeet. To the poor, she was known as Fiona the Kind for her generosity. Aww. Throughout her exploit exploits, he began she began to foster an appreciation for fine arts and artifacts. And so left the city and joined faraway archaeological arch, archaeological expeditions. There she excelled and flourished and became famous for finds. Alright, so that's... Oh, wait, there's no story for Soph? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Here's Soph's. Soph, Soph is a, Sophia is a scrappy and resourceful engineer and artifactor whose role in the mission is to assist the Wood Elves by designing and building the town structures. Belonging to the race of gnomes, Sophia grew up learning the ways of the mechanic and builder. When she came of age, she took her training to the next level by becoming an apprentice to the world-renowned master architect, Sir Swank L. Bright. She's now employed by the Royal Company of Colonizers as a master architect herself. She has faithfully helped build many colonies under the Order of the Queen. Logic Bomb is a very old and very smart dwarf whose role in the mission is to gather natural resources needed. Oh, I think I read that, didn't I? Hey! The dwarves lived for centuries, and in his first, at the age of 42, he went on a journey that is now well-known for folklore of the red-bearded gatherer. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, so we got we got some backstory for our characters. We're ready to go. Fiona's actually a girl. Well, it was actually. I just changed the wording, but yeah. Oh. Daddy, I'm a girl. Just um um, I have a hood, so you so you can't see my hair. Just you can see a little bit on my hair. Any Daddy, what's this? I don't know. It's a book. It is a book. It's a story. A long time ago, the wee wood elves had a place that they called home. It was the only place that they ever knew. Until one day, 
disaster forced them to leave their homeland. With nowhere else to go, they wandered the lands of others in search of a new home, finding ways of adapting, working, and living peacefully with the people who hosted them. But still, none of this was ever truly a home. With the Wood Elves now spread across the world, they needed a home, now more than ever. The High Elf Queen Salati, a great leader who ruled over the enormous commonwealth, saw the, the, flight, fight, uh, the plight of the Wood Elves and used her skillful diplomacy to strike a deal with a people known as the Naboo. The Naboo had lots of lanes and forests to spare that were just right for the wee Wood Elves. Naboo were happy to welcome the Wood Elves as their new neighbors, for the Wood Elves, who were naturally good-natured, had created a shining reputation for themselves around the world from their travels. Queen Salata knew that colonization was tough work, and if people who had been wandering for a very long time, road weary and surviving, would need some help. So the Queen enlisted her best team to the task. With their combined ingenuity, work ethic, and pros pro pro propensity? I'm not sure what that word means. Propensity, I guess? I don't know. For kindness, they were set to take on the challenge. All right. So I guess this is our downloading. That looks like. Yeah, but Dad, this. how will oh, we, no, this is it. This Dad, is how it. will we play, <laughs> Daddy? How will we, how will we play all three characters together? I don't know. It's an interesting question. Ooh, we'll probably trade them out. I to play. You're tickling my butt. I don't like <laughs> yeah. I can't tickle your butt. But you're tickling it a little bit earlier. <laughs> Dad, who's tackling? Cute, cute butterfly. Oh, there we come. Daddy, it looks like I'm the leader. True. Yeah, Daddy, you get the slow poke. <laughs> I'm old, I'm ancient, I think there's another one like that. Uh, da we, yep, that's us. Dad, I have blood on my feet. I think you're wearing sandals, baby. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's blood. My royal subjects, if you are reading this letter, we are pleased that you have arrived safely at the Dusky Cube. Within our very vast empire, there are no explorers or colonizers more noble and capable than the three of you. Queen Salat. We are a compassionate queen. We are a compassionate queen. Time has long come for the wandering wood elves refugees to have a new land of their own. We have claimed the Duskin Valley Keep, built and abandoned a previous colonization attempt with the proper treaty of the native people. We have gifted yes, the wood elves Sophia. We have gifted the wood elves with the keep and the rights to the ancient land so that they may rebuild and salvage their I think somebody's gonna steal that and then all the plants are going to Die. Maybe. Dad, Each Dad. of you were chosen for your own unique talents and skills. Yes, I mean. If somebody takes that, I think we're gonna have to find it and steal it, and then we're gonna and then have we're gonna to have it to back. like win. Your quest, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Together, you have the ability to explore. Together and build. It's like to be I wonder to... who's going to be the main character. All of these skills necessary to conquer the foreign lands and help the world restore their own way of life. Daddy. Professor Mooney, with his archaeological knowledge, will assist understanding this ancient land. Daddy, I think I'm going to be the one that's the one. And you know what? Mayor Shatik will help with recolonization efforts. Thank you for your efforts and wish you luck in your assignment. Her Majesty Queen Salah. Alright. Oh, I thought we gotta play over once. Hey, it's the mayor. Hey, you made it. Oh, nice office. I like the picture of her in the background. Come in, step into my office. Let's talk. Alright, oh, hey, we're controlling this. Daddy, this time, where ooh, is I like that this where, world. Where, where, why are we gonna play? I don't know. Well, there you are. I'm right there. Can't talk with you yet. Oh, we're doing that tutorial, I see. Okay, we're gonna let's run through this tutorial. 
talk to this man. Outstanding, you've arrived. That's fantastic. On behalf of the Wood Elf Nation, I'd like to welcome you to Dusk and Keep. I'm Mayor Shatik. Pleased to meet you. Listen, uh, I'm a doer. Do you know what that means? That means I like to get things done. And I think you do too. You strike me as a doer. That's outstanding. Let's get it to it. Let's get to business. Our first priority is to make sure the Wood Elves arrive in Larktown, your names, safely and have a place to live. For this, we'll need the whole team. Professor Mooney has given us these artifacts. They're an ancient technology we don't quite understand, but I'm sure nothing bad will happen. They're called Talk Rocks. You like that name? I gave them that name. It's great. Professor Mooney and I each have one, so we'll be able to communicate with each other at a distance. Did I tell you that they do that? That's what they do. You have to try to get five stars. We received three Talk Rocks, one for each member of your team. According to Mayor Shatik, these artifacts allow you to communicate with each other and your team from any distance. Ooh. So they're like walkie-talkies or telephones. Yeah, that's what they do. Let's wrap this up. Take these to your colleagues. Start with getting Sophia her talk rock. It looks like she's just outside my office. Thanks for coming in. All right, so journal update. Find Sophia in Dusk and Keep Courtyard and give her the talk rock. That's I'm right there. Oh, easy hunt. Give talk rock. All right. oh, now we're playing Geo. Ah. Hey there, it's Mayor Shatak. I see you got your talk rock in one piece. That's outstanding. Glad to hear it. So, uh, let's get to it. I hear you're great at fixing things, a real master mechanic. Would you mind doing me a favor? Sophia's repair hammer. Oh, you're a repair person, Soph. With her hammer, Sophia can repair anything. She's a maverick with a hammer. That's some say. Climb up the castle tower over there and fix that broken beacon using your hammer. What broken beacon? Showing us right now, I think. Right there. Aww. Okay, it will come in really handy when anyone gets lost in the forest. You can look up to see the beam and they know how to get back to town. Can, oh, let me just that. Great idea, right? I thought of you. I thought of that. We'll, <laughs> I thought of that. We'll talk some more once you're done. Thanks. Alright, well, we got our what? first mission. Daddy, what about me? Hey, uh, I think you have to go out. Daddy, what about me? Oh, I don't know yet, honey. We'll find out. Wait, what was that? That kind of got highlighted. Oh, good, this is a new force right now, but... Oh, there's a bit. The tower? successfully you arrive. Good stuff. There's this game called Stoneheart. That came out a couple of years ago. It reminds me a little bit of that, except this is not an over the top overview. You're, you know, actually yeah, playing, that's playing in third person. It's a good view. And the 
wasn't as there was a quest and stuff. Well, I guess there kind of was. But... Good job. I think you got maybe one or two more. You'll be there. Show up your old man by beating it the first time. Ooh. Talking to you. Concentrate. I'll quit, quit talking to you. I'll talk to the audience. Anybody uh, interested in going to pick this game up? I think it's coming out on the 28th. Was it Wednesday or 29th? One of those two days. It'll be on Steam. I know that for Prepare. sure. Prepare the beacon from the rope. Okay. Cycle the uh, equipment tools using the shift plus the middle mouse button. Okay. Do I push it too so, do you know what the middle mouse button is? It's on the wheel right here. Huh? I'll hold shift, or you can hold shift with one hand. Here, you do it. You hold shift with one hand, and then hit that middle mouse button. Wait. You gotta hold shift. Damn. Hold, hold the shift down, and then hit the middle mouse button, the middle one, the wheel. Work, press it down. Oh, you already have it out. You, you must have did it. I didn't know you put it in your hand. Okay. There you go. So go ahead and just hit the mouse button. It should make it go, I think. There you go. You're ready. Boom. Uh, I like when they have progression as you fix things. That's cool. Good job. Ooh, there's a beam of light. Outstanding, you did it. Listen, that's really great. Thanks a lot. Now that was easy. Well, you did a good job. It will come in handy for the townsfolk when they arrive, and also for you and your companions when you're out in the woods. Foreman Ike has been looking around for you. He would like to go over some schematics with you for the new town construction. Head over to the drafting table and have a chat with Foreman Ike. Push W the whole time. You want me to do the mouse or you want to do the mouse? W is your forward button. Push W. W is a good button. Dad, that's if you want to do the mouse? Dad, if, Dad, if you keep moving the camera, then I can't even Dad? Well, that's how you turn, honey. Oh, there he is. You know, it's his hit E now. <laughs> How's it going, boss? Name is Foreman Ike. We don't uh, need no chit chat. Uh, let's do what we're good at and start talking about building, huh? We're gonna need to have some of that, uh, what's it called, infrastructure ready for when the people start showing up. What I hear is there's already lots of them camping out in the woods waiting for us to get to it. Let's build one of those tents and a what's it called uh, garden plot for farming. We got your blue plant drafting table all set up the way you like it so you can give the orders of where to put the structures. But uh, we're going to need the resources to build it first, so let me just talk rock that burly fella, because I hear he's real good at that stuff. Is that me? Am I the burly fella? Oh yeah, must be. Yo, it's Foreman Ike here, uh, working with your buddy Sophia, and we're going to need some stuff before we start building. You do us a solid and use your wood axe on some collie trees. Those are the ones with the white bark, you see, the best wood in the forest. And use your pickaxe to mine gold. Finally, you can also use your pickaxe to mine stone. We need 240 wood, 20 stone, and 170 gold. Thanks for your help, boss. Alright. Wanna drive us out there, Pete? Yeah, push the double Hit E. Okay. Uh. about E? Oh, there's a lever right there. Here, walk over this way. There you go. Hit E right there. Drive us out. Actually, right here's where we're going. Right here, it's right there, and anyway, we have a weapon. So we shift the middle mouse button, right? <laughs> and oh, there we go. You have the axe. Okay, there now. Okay, so there's our picks. Okay. Bye. Daddy, I'm doing. It's the mouse button. Anyway, right here, that's funny. Can I do? Yep. Be careful. Use the camera too, so you gotta look back. Okay, walk over to this one. There you go now. You can just hold it down, you don't have to keep pressing it. This one. 
Turn the camera? No, I'm not. Oh, no, I know. Can you? Oh, this is this is a huge rock. work on that rock, girl. Alright, any more? Yep, a little bit more. Just hold it. See if there's any more in this area. Oh, Dad, do, do go Dad, out, look, Dad. Dad, look for the little door and then go in there. We need to cut trees down, too, though. Can I cut the trees down? No, we're Dad? outside. What you need, Missy Gizzy? Dad, can I cut the trees down and how do you Mom. do that? You see Mom. You see Mom. There's one more, Dad. Okay. Can you, you guys play? I'm going to let Moose out. Push it up and you feel it. Push W. I think we're good. Let me, let me, let me do it. Push W. I think we're good, but we'll get some coal. Push W. Oh, I can't do it. You're moving the camera. Never, I never. No, got no, to I'm gonna do it. I never got to do this type. I only got to do gold. You let me. You're yeah. me. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get the gold. Can I get the gold? Yeah. Can I? Just hold it. Wow, so Fiona, go. Just hold it, Fiona. But then it's just gonna make you stop. Do that. See? You don't get this off the video. Let's chop down some trees. Sophia, we have to chop down trees. Dad, do you have to chop down some trees? Wait, is that what our quest was? Yes. Do you know how to switch to your act? Hit two, hit the two key. Fiona? Hold on, we gotta let Moose in. Hit the two key, Soph. This? Two. Two? The number two. Switch to your axe? Yeah, now you get your axe. So you said the white trees right there. See the white ones? Then to cut those down. Rest of those, and we're gonna go, okay? okay? And then I'll get the cut. Let me cut all of them. No, I'm gonna cut one too. You need to cut all of them. I know. Them. I'll cut all of them but one, okay? So you. Okay? <laughs> I'm saving the little baby one for you, which is that one. That one. You want me to cut the baby one? No. Mm. Cut the baby one. Oh, it's hot. Great. Choose all. What? But we had one more. Really? I don't care. Now that we have the. 
we need yeah, we did it. head to cover uh -huh. to the crafts ta craft table and show me where to craft the first tint in Lark Town. Dad, can you read this? Yeah, Let me apologize. I'm begging, 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 begging for all those times. All those well, times. Come on. Now that we have the resources we need, head over to the drafting table and show me where to construct the first tent for Larrick. Daddy. Okay. Do I? Okay. Oh, so you're pushing J for journal. No. Okay. Let's see. So go over here to the drafting table. Oh, we're us again? You want to build a tent? Yeah, you can't see that because it's too tight and soon. Pick a side. Okay, so this is, must be our little town. Oh, Dad, I so know. We gotta build I inside know. our walls. Okay. I said we build over, uh, we think. Well, we might need to put, like, what if we have to defend against stuff? Dad, I know where to build. I wonder if we can. I don't want to do it where near. Hey, we could cut down some of those trees and see if we could set some over there. Do you think that would be fine? Look, I could seriously cut white trees. Unless we need the trees for resources. Maybe we just stick this right here for now. What do you think? I can. Or what do you guys want? I was thinking that right there where a tree is. Like a, it would it'd be like basically right next. No, right there. Why would the white tree is? We might be able to cut it down. It has to be? No, I mean, I guess we could. Right by the road right here? Sure. Yeah. So, okay. so we, I feel like that'd be a good Okay, thing. so now where should I build a plot to grow food? This one. Daddy, can I, can I? What do you want the plot, right here? Yeah, right there, Daddy, that's a good spot. Daddy, I want to put it right there. No, you can't put it right it there. Be right, yeah, right there. There you go, you did it. Okay, all done. Right now that we have somewhere to grow food and a few beds to sleep in, we can invite a few people into the town. If you find anyone out there, be sure to invite them in. All right, cool. So Whoa. I think I think. Hey, it's me again. Uh, I've spoken with Sophia, and uh, she seems like she is set up now and acquainted with Foreman Ike. But I cannot seem to get a hold of Fiona. Listen, I don't mean to micromanage, but have you uh, given her her talk rock yet? I think I saw her bring in some firewood at the campsite just outside my office. Mind getting it to her now? Thanks. Uh, you're a real star of this operation. Couldn't do it without you. Are we stuck in a, a fence? What mm -hmm. happened here? Um, Are we allowed to switch people? How the heck did this happen? I didn't want to act in it. Really, Fiona? I didn't want to act in it. It's okay. I just don't. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, maybe we can work. Wow, the map looks cool, doesn't it? Look, there's lava over here. Do not warp all the way over there. Warp. Uh, okay, let's save our game. This works sometimes. So we'll save it here. And then we're gonna restart. And then we're gonna load it back and then we won't be stuck in the spot again. Mm -hmm. If we are in our exact same spot, yeah. What? I don't know. Huh. I don't even know how it's possible. Are we just running into the fence? No. It just shut down by itself. Huh. I was trying to get out, but then it just shut down. Oh, is there a door here? Let's, uh, let's just load a previous save then. Let's try that. So, that was our save. 2152. Here's 2115. That's, uh, that's, I think that's the game we just saved. But let's see what happens when we load it. Bam, 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 bam. Workplace town structures produce best when the workers are happy. 
That's cool. So people we bring into our town must work for us. That will work for us. It must be. Really? Oh, I'm still there. Okay, let's try to roll. This is an early access version of the game too. I don't really think this is going to be a fault of the game necessarily. All right, so this one's six minutes back. I think that'll work. Daddy, six minutes back. Daddy, I don't think it's going to work because if we don't get out, then I'm just going to be upset. That's all right. We might just have to gather some resources again. No. Ah. Oh, oh. Come on. I made this stack in it. Okay. So, what was our quest here? J for journal? Uh, what was this is when we built. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to get a tent. That's not good. Wait, what's going on here? Get back on there, Dad. Why am I this person? Because you, you went back six minutes. Did, did we not do the thing? Mm-mm. We're back! Well, hold on. Good question. Do we, do we need to run up the tower again? Can't wait to see what you and Foreman Ike come... Oh, we have to talk to Ike. Okay, so save right before we talk to Ike. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we just need to talk to Ike. Then we'll send Logic Bomb out there to do harvesting. <laughs> Okay, so we already read all this. We'll speed through it. Did we hear it? Yeah, okay. Here we, go. we know you want us to gather stuff. We're gonna go do it right now. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Pull the lever? Yeah, we're back on track now. Dad, maybe we shouldn't get by the something here. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. We won't do that. I just meant, like, can I, like, Let's just watch it out for right now, Phil. You can hit the button, just like anything. You want to hit the button? Hit the button with Dad. I have to knock down the rest of the thing on the way to the thing. Yeah. Jackpot? That's cool. Let's randomly have a chance to get more. Whoa, we're messing the camera up. We only have to get two more trees. Oh, okay. That's the idea. Oh. oh, there you go. See? Oh, there we go. Those are all the resources we need. Okay, hit the mouse button. Now that we have the resources we need, head over to the drafting table and show me where to construct the first tent. So I don't understand how we got stuck. See if it happens this time. Yes, right there. Okay. And now we need to plant it. There. Okay, done. Okay. Now here's a tester. No, we're not stuck. Okay. Hey, it's me again. I'm focused on these seems to be set. No, we had to read all this. We need to go get Fiona now. <laughs> we'll go ahead and finish this tree off while we're here, though, right? <laughs> sure. That was I got a feeling. I know. I got a feeling we're gonna need a bunch of other resources. <laughs> Let's go meet. Uh, I think Fiona, Fiona. I think Fiona has to find a person. That's, that's her. Give talk rock to Fiona. 
And I think she has to find some people. Hey Fiona, Professor Mooney is looking for you. He's heard what a storied treasure hunter that you are. He's excited to work with you. You're a treasure hunter, huh? <laughs> Do me a favor and pay him a visit, will you? <laughs> dad, right. dad, when, um, dad, when um, I first saw the picture of the thing, for a reason I felt that big log was a treasure chest, but it wasn't. It was just a wood. Oh, you're Fiona. I would know your face anywhere. Big fan. My name is Professor Mooney. I'm the foremost leading expert of treasure acquisition and identification. I'm really excited to show you an artifact we've already found and identified. I've studied it with a zillion curiosities while you and your companies or companions were on route here. You received the treasure diviner. Major Shitik gave it that name. This tool has a sense for hiding treasures. When it's glowing red, you're going the right way. When it starts to pulse energy, you're getting close. A wonderful little doodadder is a bona fide treasure detector. Difficult for me to use, and I dare say that few possess the athleticism Daddy. or keen instinct. Dad, that, that actually really good on my face. Really what is? That really, that's good on my face. Oh, I don't think it is. So okay, go ahead and give it a try and see if you can find anything. Oh. I think I think that might be just your just your, your body type. You may, oh, no, you may have hair on your feet. I don't know what's going on. Daddy, I think it's um, nail polish. No, <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Daddy, so we got a diviner Daddy, now. I think it's nail polish. Used a diviner, okay. So we're looking for it to turn red, I think, right? Oh, well, there's red. Okay. I think that's good. Oh, there it got dark red, didn't it? Mm -hmm. That's blue. Right. Oh, you have to go out there. Outside, don't we? Oh, you, you're faster. You're using those big, really bloody painted feet. I told you, Dad, I'm fast. Let go, let go. Stop. Whoa, what was that? You were close? Yeah, that I think this must be repulsing, right? Ooh, red pulses. Oh, no, it's not red anymore. I thought we needed to be red right on you. Yep. Oh, I found some. Found the chest. I'm the best You're such a good treasure hunter. Let's open this thing and see what's in it. Oh, grass? Jackpot. Hey. Nice. Whoa. A bunch of money, 180. <laughs> yeah. Splendid. You found something. Gold. The mayor and foreman will be absolutely thrilled. That will surely help with our building efforts. Couldn't help but over here. I'd be thrilled also if I overheard everything. What I mean is, uh, I was listening in. Uh, I'm glad everyone is going. I'm glad everything is going well, and that you know how to use the treasure diviner. I gave it that name, by the way. Listen, I've already contacted your companions, and we've agreed that we all need to come in for a meeting. Meet us back in my office. All right, here we go. Why does a baker sell yeast to raise dough? <laughs> the dad joke. That's a joke. A little humor for you to break the ice. That's management one on 101. I wrote the book on that. It's uh, great. I'll sign a copy for you before you go. Let's table that for now and let's talk about why I called you all here. Uh -oh. There's a cave not far from here if you follow the path. Ooh. It was all walled up with a giant rock, but we were able to blow it up with a bomb we imported. Very expensive. As Professor Mooney expected, the cave is not a natural formation. It looks like an ancient tunnel. We haven't gone inside yet because it might be very dangerous. Who knows what's down there? That's why we are leaving it to the experts, you three. But I realize that you only just arrived and this is all very sudden. I understand that you may want a chance to stretch your legs and explore around a bit. You want to gather resources, build some town structures, or look for treasure? That's all great to you. That's me. Since you and Sophia have weapons to kill monsters, and I don't, I can just run fast. Maybe if I, I don't think we're made to, I don't think there'd be bad guys in this one, because if there was, then we would be weapons. Our things aren't made for weapons. I'm not sure if there is any weapons. Well, Dad, maybe if I was running fast, I could totally make him dizzy. Right. <laughs> and you guys would have sharp tools, but I hit him and make a like. <laughs> well, Dad has the sharpest tool, Sophia just has the laziest tool. 
Oh, and if you come across any campers out in the wilderness, be sure to invite them to join Lyric. All three of you should have the folders that I made up for you. I'm such an A-type personality. They'll contain all the info that you need to get about your business. Be sure to check these out. See the overview menu for this information. Whenever you're ready, you can head down to the cave. There's no rush. Dad, you know what he has? Alright, here we the... go. Explore the cave north. Oh, Dad. hey, a crystal's uh, doing something. I got it correct! It was going to do something. Okay. The house is no home if it's empty. Find campers in Dustwood Valley to join Larry. Oh, you have to find three. Transport of the stones reacts to your presence. Select the location to transport. Transport co uh, companions here. Do nothing. Can I go? You can transport. You can teleport. I don't think. I bet I gotta unlock other places or something. Check. Check. Do nothing. All right. So. Find more treasure. Apparently, we're not rolling this. You want to look for treasure? Okay. Yeah, that's what we were supposed to do. Okay. Daddy, you can look for treasure and try to find people, too. Dad, we almost found something. Look how far the range is on this thing. Dad, we almost found something. I think it does everywhere. Dad, we almost found something. It's very Definitely far. Red, huh? Well, now it's not as red as it. Now, now it's pink red. We had to move to. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Wait, there we go. Found it. We're in a room. Yeah, it is. What is this? Oh, it's just. Jackpot! Wow. And some wow, red. Wow! Wow! Look at that. Everything. Oh, look at that. Bag of spice increases town happiness by 25% for six minutes. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, another item. It's a potion. That doesn't look like a health potion, doesn't it? Endurance potion. Fully restores your stamina and gives infinite stamina for one minute. Everything for like one awesome. minute. Awesome. I don't know what that way. What? Hey, a person! Traveler, there's never a cloudy day around these parts. Dude, I just let you out. What do you need? Looks like you went to food, Dad. You already found him. I couldn't think of anything more convenient for a traveler. Hmm. You've seen one house. Dad, I think those are more. Dad, don't eat those mushrooms or those cherries because I think Dad, I, Dad, I don't want you to eat those cherries or mushrooms because I think they're very poisonous. I think they're poisonous. Is this our Yep, it's turning pink, guys. What are you doing? Hey, what's up, all? No, no more oh, there we go. Would you three like to live in Laric? We would love to join Laric, but there's not enough space for us. When you build enough housing for three of us, come back and find us. Oh, oh. so we have, so we make one house, but we need two more. Apparently, yeah. Do you want to go to the shop real quick and make two Hold more? Hold on, we were tracking something. Let's see if we can find this. Jackpot. Sure it is two people over there. My gold, oh my gold's maxed out. Not for them either. Oh man, I hope that stuff stays here. I need to go. I, I didn't realize you had a limit on your gold. We need to go unload stuff. What are these dots over here? Use your spread ability key. That's us. Oh, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Looks right. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let me go either spend some gold or build more storage or something. Let's spend some gold. <laughs> I, I'm betting building stuff. Let's stuff see if open. that's us or not. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so I got that correct. Right. Hey, can we build another house real quick? 
um, build, do you want to build, build two more houses? Oh. No, build. It has to be you, Fiona. You can't build. She's a treasure hunter. Oh. Um, hey, you can click and get me. Oh, can you? Oh. oh, you're right. That's awesome. Okay. That's really awesome, actually. We could have left Fiona out there in the woods. Yeah. With those people, and then just clicked over and told them to come back to us after we're done building. All right, so we got lots of bubbles. Market, farming, housing. Oh, there. Want, right? yeah, we need the dad, we need houses. Build okay. one right there, yeah. Okay. One right there. Build, hold on. Another one right there. Uh, um, do you think we, do you, I wonder if we could put a garden right there. Probably, yeah, we could probably do two back there. I'm starting to see a lot of tents out there. I mean, it's great that you're building homes to live in, but we're not going to be reaching our five-star town rate with those. Have you tried mashing together some design concepts at the drafting table? I'd like Just to leave it like this for right now. Maybe something that's two times bigger than a tent, better than a tent. With four times the living space. Oh, okay. Wait, that should be our last tent, okay? Okay, I agree. Okay, so now we need do you think we should get the three people? Build some more farms. We don't have enough resources. Crap. Okay, Fiona, build farms. Let's not right now. Alright. Let's go get um, Fiona and get and find some people. Okay. Because Fiona is. Oh, I can do this middle mouse. There we go. There it is. Dad, if you look, it's you. I saw the great picture of you yeah. and now you're gone. You run so fast. Dad, I Dad, I went faster than you guys to catch up the flying train. Yeah, you got a sprint. Nobody else seems to have it. Dad, we have to make our thing glowing. How do we? It's the mouth button, but I think we got it right. I don't know. Some over here. I see you do that time. Well, we still got something to pick up though. From can we get? Can we pick up? Oh, there they are. Go to the tent. Let me get some people. Let me yip pop dry. And wait, 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 wait for all those times. No, get the three people. Get the three people. We need more people. Because you remember, three people can work for us. They can all work for us. We really like to live in our town, yes. Well, thank you for the invitation. We'll leave for Larry immediately. Alright, there we go. Yeah! See, now we have more workers to join us. Fantastic, we have our first citizens. Keep them coming. Townsville can be monitored from the citizen tab of the overview menu. Now we can focus our attention on getting our town rating up. We're a one star colony. This must be rectified before the annual conference of adamant mayors, or I'll be a laughing stock. Our objective is to earn a five star town rating, but let's start by earning a two star first. Dad. We need to find more people to join and the right builders to construct Dad, in order to increase it. Quality of life, economy, and culture. Look, it didn't go away. Dad, oh, uh, oh, you're right. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Excellent. Dad, I'm a genius. I just that. Uh, I don't know if we have room for you two, but we'll ask. No, we need one no, more no, tent. We, okay. we need one more tent. I just want to pick this up. Then. How do I pick this up? Hi there, sounds like our city isn't producing enough food for everyone. Look in the menu. Oh, we need more food now. I don't appear to be able to pick this up. I don't know why. Just leave it. How okay. do we get more food? You. I think we got enough to build the farm, this thing. What does it take? Wood 200. We need more wood. So switch to me and we'll go cut some wood. Now oh, switch to me and we can cut some more wood. I like how we can switch back more. What if we can actually cut these down? We can only cut the white boy. Da, 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 da. Oh, a white piece of wood. Dad, can I cut it? Yeah. That might just be enough, maybe. We need 200, we need 190. <gasps> Daddy, oh, Daddy! Oh, the farms. Hey, let me see. Can you turn the mouse? Is there more wood this way? Dad, can, I see, Dad, Dad, can I see where they're working in the farm? Yeah, we'll go back so we get this wood. Jackpot, 269. Can I see 
Let's go look at the wood. Farming. I think we have enough of wood too. See him in there working for you? How are they working? Working the woods. Alright, I heard the. Do you remember the person? Let's build another one. There we go. Hold on, hold on. So. She, the girl said we needed more stuff. It's food storage, it's kind of food production. Simplified land, okay. Hopefully that's enough. Wait, hold on. Can you go back one more? What do you mean one more? Go back. Go back to him. Yeah. Uh, keep going. Yeah, she said something about mills, like designing them or something. That, that is what I meant. Keep going. Go to like, no. Also, that's a Go back up. Dada, we can make. Oh, hold on, we're gonna need one of those. Dad, we can make Simple and effective solution for the most basic of needs. Dad, we can make people. We need to build one of these. Do we have enough wood? We do. Oh, we can. We're missing something. Oh, we're missing the scissors to cut it. No. I don't know what we're missing here. Look at this. Let's not worry about it. Dad, can you go back up, please? What are we missing from this stuff? We should have everything, don't we? Uh, coast. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is where people poop. That's why it's important. We think. Dad, I know where I put it. Uh, hold on. I... Uh, no, that's right. No, that's perfect. I know. I mean, it may stink, but... No, we don't smell in this thing. Yeah, exactly. I don't think they packed that in. So now we got Wait. a poop install. Look, somebody's gonna use it already. See that? Daddy, I don't Whoa, why is the guy almost stuck in a tree again? <laughs> yeah, you want a man, not close. We don't need that. Yeah, we need wood. Sure. Alright, let's cut the tree you're down. Old you're old you're 42. No, Dad, hold on. Dad, go over there again. Dad, they're gold! We don't really need gold. Is that what you want? This one's a jack. This one's a jack. Oh, it's not. Can I try? Yes, you do. What's this you do, Pete? Your turn. Get one more house Dad, so can get those other two. Dad, I can see super shiny gold over there. Oh, yeah, I see it too. Maybe we should go over there, Dad. Turn to left. No, over there. We don't need gold right now. Ooh. Daddy, I think we get gold just like, see if there's like a path in my phone. That's what I meant. Do we have extra home? Yeah, Daddy, I didn't we need one that. more. We gotta figure out how to make a bigger house, like she said. <laughs> Daddy, I want to see it. Alright, it's time for bed. Let's end no! this thing. Yeah, you're getting tired. No! No! This is where you want to go? No! You need to calm down. Okay. You're getting tired. Blacksmith, right dust and keep, Faro Village, <laughs> Tea River Camp, Survey Hey, do you want to see if you want to talk to the person? He's new. Everybody back in Tea Camp River is getting into this Towers and Turnips game. He let my friend play one of the campaigns and she gave him a prize when he finished. Oh, that's cool. We have a little mini game in here. Where is it? We don't know. Well, we have to get to the town first to find it. Oh, we got jack. I need a jackpot on my piles. Daddy, I think they're making a path. Dad, look! Crystal! Is that? Daddy! Did you take that? Cave entrance, stones, discover. So every crystal that we find is good. Must be. It must Wait, be like a warp so spot. if we go there, we can warp to the other jewel. Yep. 
Let's just do that real quick. you to get industry builder's basic workbench yeah that, that could be for you right uh-huh uh, no we can that's our own craft station oh you think so oh uh, we can craft our own stuff there one more tip yes we need one more You don't need to make that, Dad. Daddy, you should. So, unlock design build three more times. Oh, you have to keep building. Oh. Okay. So, watch. I bet if we build one more, we unlock this. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, we already have five. Hmm. It's not. We have five of those. Daddy, I think for now we can explore the cave. Oh, hold on. Here we go. There, look, we locked it. That's how you do it. Okay. Daddy, I think now I want to explore the cave. We um, learned how to make a house? Yeah, now we can build the house. Cost. More. Gold? No, we have everything. To unlock for design, build three more times. What do you build? Right here? Yeah, you have to make more of those. Confused. Whoa! Hey, can I upgrade these two? No. Make that right there, yeah. Make it right there. We can build here. Wait, does someone live there okay, now? Now we need to see if we can build more. Or is that like a big house? Does someone yes. live Let's there? Let's check this out. Oh, right in there. I'll treat you. Yeah, this holds four guests, I think. Housing plus four. So Dad, look through the hill. There we go. Dad, I just saw humans walking. Yep. Now we should have enough if we switch to Fiona. She can probably invite these two. Actually, we can have three more. Was there another group of three anywhere? Oh, we already got them. We already got them. We'll just invite these two now. Maybe. Look weird. Doesn't buggy half the time. There we go. All right, there they go. Boom. Hello. Now we can pick that up. What's this? Daddy, it's daddy. It's a house. Oh. What's this? This is awful. Everyone should be given a way to stay clean. Citizens are getting smelly. What is it? Citizens. They're the citizens. Are people in our town. So we need to see if we can build like a shower. Uh, environment, entertainment, community. Public bathhouse right there. We need wood. No, set it up there. He, yes, you right just there. You me right there. Sorry. Okay, we need wood. Switch back to my guy. After we cut, after we build this bathhouse, we're gonna have to call tonight, please. Oh. It's getting late. Can we play again tomorrow night? Yeah. We'll, we'll do that tomorrow night. <laughs> we're not gonna have time tonight. What's today? Daddy, what? Daddy, why did you get it for the kids? That's time we collected nine crowns. We got money. Daddy, why didn't you... Babe, because we were doing all sorts of stuff. There's only so much we can do. <laughs> we'll do we'll do it after we get everyone in the town and everything and working. So then everyone that's working will help us and we'll be... How many did it take to build the bathhouse? I'm guessing we have enough. Go back. For me. Daddy, I want to use... You have to go back down. Daddy, I want to switch back to me. Okay, right here? Yes, right there. There we go. Now we have a bathhouse. Alright, so that's done. Wait, can we look at the town and everything? Like, I want to see what's going on. 
Someone to bring him home to stop embarrassing him. Quest potentially. I think this is where everyone like that game was. There's a couple more, but we don't have to. We can. All right. Where are you gonna save our game? We need to call it a night. Everyone say bye to everybody. Yeah, you ended you the video. Want to. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. You yeah. ended the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please check out all of our content on our website, MatureMindedGamers.com. Again, this game is called Dewaro, and it'll be available on Steam here in a couple days. So far, I'm really liking it. What do you girls think? I like it. V, you like it? She's a little grumpy because it is bedtime. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good night.